Uh, I'm Brian Forster. I'm the Science Lab Coordinator for the uh, GEP here at St. Joseph's University, and I'm a faculty member in the Environmental Science Program. One of the lab activities we do with our students is looking at topography and the role topography plays in stormwater runoff. So this is one of those lab activities where every semester we ask the students to rate uh, how much they like the lab and how much they find the lab useful. And this is one of those activities where the students weren't always being engaged in the lesson that we were uh, teaching them. So my colleagues and I were looking uh, to find new lab activities that we could use to teach the topic of topography and we came across uh, work that was done at UC Davis where they prepared an augmented reality topographic sandbox. So we decided since all of that material was open source we prepared our own sandbox. So it uses a Xbox camera and a projector and a box of sand. My name is Franca Bakari. I'm a senior biology major and I'm graduating in 2018. So how I got interested in the box is Dr. Figueroa and Dr. Forrester approached me. They explained to me the concept and showed me some other versions of the boxes. I wanted to see if I was up for the challenge. One of the challenges in teaching topography is having the student try to visualize something in three dimensions as a two-dimensional map and looking at something that is a two-dimensional map and bringing it back to 3D. So the fact that we have this sandbox allows the students to go back and forth between a two-dimensional image of a three-dimensional structure. So we have the students take a topographic map and recreate it in three dimensions in the sandbox. The sandbox allows us to mimic where rain events will occur so students can see where in my um, area or my watershed is water runoff going to occur. Is it going to end up in a lake or a stream or is it going to accumulate somewhere else in that area? So it's very interactive. It allows the students to, you know, sort of play in the lab and students always get the most out of a lesson when they're uh, playing something or, you know, being able to work with their hands. That's one of the values of uh, teaching science labs. Students get to work with things and hold things and that's much more informative than just learning about a particular topic sitting in lecture. So how it works is we had to set up the whole operating system to work in Linux and then since Linux is open source all the information was provided to us online and then from there we had to integrate it all into our own version of it. The box can be helpful for students because it gives them an actual physical version of the concepts that they see in lab. Being able to use hands-on and move the sand around themselves allows them to see how the earth actually erodes and the water moves and how topography can actually relate to real life situations. I think it's cool because uh, augmented reality is starting to become part of everyday life. You see people using their phones to manipulate different things in actual real time. I think innovative things like this that we have in our lab demonstrates what uh, St. Joe's faculty is all about, that we're constantly improving and bringing new things into our classrooms. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I got to learn a lot of things. and got some more experience. I guess I learned uh, a lot of trial and error. <laughs> One of the things I hope for in these labs is that we expose the students to not only the topics of science but how uh, scientists work in the lab. What innovative techniques, tools, devices do they use in the lab and we're allowing our students, especially the non-majors, a chance to see that for themselves.